carefully introduce a root-bound house plant into a larger container. First, you want to make sure that your house plant is definitely pot-bound. It's a good idea to take the pot, loosen it up, squeeze it a bit, and wiggle it off very gently. You don't want to disturb any of the fragile roots within the pot. After analyzing and seeing that there is very little room for soil, that's when you know for certain that your plant needs a new pot. Now, what will happen is that you have to select a pot just a little bit larger than the pot is already in. So as you can see, this one here will be a perfect fit for your plant. It is also a very good idea to use a very high quality potting soil, something very high in peat and perlite. You don't want it to retain too much moisture since it's inside, it will not dry out as quick as it would outdoors. So what you want to do is make sure you get an adequate amount of soil in the bottom of your container. Keep in mind it must be a little bit smaller or larger than the pot it originally came out of and loosen the roots very gently. Don't get rough because these are where the plant gets its food from. Gently place it down into the soil, make sure it's secure, and do a backfill around. Pressing lightly to make sure that all the gaps are filled. Also, you want to use some sort of fertilizer. I like to use a very low dosage of Osmocote. This will feed your plant without you having to think about it. This lasts up to four months and it will take the pressure off of you and it will also encourage your plant to be happy and healthy in its new home, in its new pot. There you have it. He's in his new pot, he's happy, and most of these yellow leaves are going to start getting back to green again because now he has room to grow, flourish, and make you happy. Thanks for watching.